Hey, what is going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, we're going to do something a little bit different in this video. We typically do step by step breakdowns for our After Effects tutorials. In this video, I want to talk about what you should be thinking about when you create a logo intro. And the reason why we're not doing a step by step breakdown is because I want to be doing too many people justice because it would be creating one style for a very small group of people rather than everyone who will be watching this video. And I really want this video to be like the groundwork for creating an awesome logo intro. So if you watch a tutorial out in the future, you're going to be able to think about, okay, I can use this technique for that rather than just copying someone else's work. Because I see so many channels on YouTube and also brands who have logo animations, but they don't really represent the brand. And it doesn't really make sense. So I want to talk about how we can create logos that actually make sense, that are actually really good. Because it's not about all the techniques that go into the work. It's not the graphics, the animation. It's does it fit the brand? Does it fit the video that's in? Does it make sense? So this is what we'll take a look at in this video. So all these logo animations that are on the screen right now are from videohive.net. The link is in the YouTube description of this video. Check it out below. And basically all these templates are ready to go. Meaning that if you purchase one of these, you can just drag and drop your logo and text and you can be done in 10 minutes. So go ahead and check some of these out if any of these logo animations inspire you. So the first thing I want to talk about is creating a logo intro that represents your brand. So I just rebranded my logo intro, which will replace my previous logo intro. And what I want to talk about here is definitely the brand. So here is my logo animation here in After Effects with the layers. And here's the thing. It took me less than 10 minutes to create this. And I'll talk about that in a second, how we're able to do it that quick. So I can pass those techniques on to you. However, I want to talk about the mindset that goes in behind the logo. So I'm trying to make sure that my brand is consistent all the way throughout, you know, with my YouTube banners, Facebook banners, uh, you know, the, our logo, um, you know, any intros, lower thirds. And I've been focusing on these keywords of professional, clean, and also a little bit serious. And with Sunduck Film here, obviously we got my text and my logo in here, and it's just trying to keep that as clean as possible, and also show a little bit of seriousness with the metallic duck, and also the motion graphics in the background here uh, is just going to represent that my channel is for motion graphics. Now, there's not really a great way to represent motion graphics unless you do some crazy things, but I want to keep it clean. I didn't want to go with particles. I didn't want it to be cluttery, and I was able to put my hands on these pixel lines with a little bit of bevel here to create these three-dimensional triangles which kind of relate to my last logo intro so a little bit of a you know continuity if you will and then be able to add a little bit of bokeh in the background to just blend all three these layers together to create something that could represent motion graphics in a way that hey there's motion here and it makes complete sense so that's my little mindset behind creating a, my logo intro and having a dark background can help supplement the higher end feel that I'm going for with my logo intro. So there's several things you can think about. What is the brand of your client or what's the brand of your business that you're trying to put together? Uh, you got to keep that in mind. Don't do particles or don't do explosions if they don't make sense. Don't do things like that. I see this stuff all the time on YouTube where there's no brand consistency. And this is exactly where the logo and the brand have to, you know, they need to align in that sense. So make sure that, you know, if you want to go for more of a higher end feel, you want to feel darker or whatever, make sure you have a black background or, you know, make sure it's darker if that's what you want and make sure it makes sense. Just don't do something that you know, is completely colorful if that's not what you're going for. So think of what the brand is, write down some keywords and how is that going to represent your entire brand and make that happen in a logo animation. Secondly, what is the animation style? Don't have it going flying around everywhere. Subtleness can go a long way to pulling off a great logo animation. You don't need flashy lens flares all over the place. You know, just think about, you know, is my brand subtle? Is it going to be fun? Maybe if it's fun, then yeah, go with particles. You know, do something cool with that. But if you just need to keep it subtle, do that because subtleness can really go a long way to making your logo look really professional. When someone sees a logo animation, you are trying to set the mood of what your brand is about. So just try to keep that in mind. If you can do that, whatever your objective is, you're going to have a successful logo animation no matter what. Okay, so like I said, I created this intro in 10 minutes and that's because it, of course, it is a template. And there's a huge benefit to buying templates when it comes to logo animations. And you're probably like, what? You didn't create your own logo? Here's the thing, guys. I don't have all day to sit here and play with After Effects and rebrand my channel and do other things. I, I do like buying templates, especially from videohive.net. And of course, you guys know, if you've been watching my videos recently, I've been doing a lot of videos with videohive.net in mind. I've always had a business approach to motion graphics is that if I can save time, I can usually save money or be able to spend more time focusing on my business and actually getting work. And with that mindset, we're able to kind of step away 
from the nitty gritty work of just continuing to do the same thing over and over again and just have something that we need right away and that we can tweak. And also what's amazing about going and searching for templates, especially logo intros, is because if you don't know exactly what you want, you can usually find something on videohive.net. There's over 10,000 logo intros in videohive.net and you'll have no problem finding what you're looking for. So I basically just search up logo intros and I found platinum over here which was exactly what I was looking for. I was like, wow, that really represents my brand. So I had no problem finding that. So here's the bottom line. I'm pretty sure whatever you want, you can find here on videohive.net. So if you want to save time, you want something that's very professional, you can spend a few bucks here to find your logo intro either for yourself or for your client. And what's great about working with clients is that you can even send them the intro before you purchase it and they'll know exactly what you're looking to create. And, and what's really cool is that whatever you're looking to create is probably already in the videohive.net library. So I invite you to go ahead and check through here before you go ahead and start trying to create your logo on your own or trying to watch a bunch of tutorials on how to create a logo animation. I have links in the video description right to the videohive's logo template page. You should, you should be able to find what you're looking for, or if you don't know what you're looking for, you'll be able to find some inspiration on what you should be thinking about. So go ahead and check out these logo animations. The links will be in the description, and all the videos I've been showing here are from videohive.net. And before we end this video, I want to give you my overall business sense on templates. So let's just say a logo animation will take you eight hours to create. If you spend like 20 bucks on videohive.net, you're going to be able to create it in less than 30 minutes. And you have rest of that day to focus on your business. So, so let's say that your time is worth fifty dollars an hour, and it's going to take you eight hours to create a logo animation. So, in those eight hours, you're worth four hundred dollars. Whereas you spend thirty minutes and buy a template from Video High for twenty dollars, and you're able to create the logo intro that you exactly want in thirty minutes. You're basically saving three hundred and fifty dollars. So once all is said and done, you're saving almost $350 of your time or even an employee's time when creating a logo intro or really any other type of motion graphics that you can create inside of After Effects. So go ahead and check out the links in the description if you're looking to create a logo intro and also check out videohive.net for other templates that you may need. And this is just my business sense behind creating motion graphics. I have over like 200 tutorials on After Effects. So, so I really want to start implementing my mindset when it comes to motion graphics to kind of help you guys out save time and even create better work so hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it insightful let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see more of these business type videos and if you did enjoy the video please be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel for more after effects videos like this and please be sure to hit me up with my social media networks those links are in the description of the video and always be creating